Hey guys! Up to now, when we were running the Python files that belong to the Slug Race project, the widgets were squeezed all together. They overlapped with one another or were not visible at all. It didn't look good, so we resized the window each time we ran the app to see everything. Let's have a look at the settings screen again. Here's what happens when you run this app, because this is a separate app now. Good, so as you can see, this window is not visible in full. You don't see the whole right part. If you resize the window, it will look better. This is, however, not the best strategy to tell the user of our app to resize the window each time they run the app if they want to see everything. It would be much better if we could open the app window already resized. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to do. You can change the size of the app window through the configuration object. It's instanced from the config class defined in the config module. The configuration object can be used for lots of other settings as well, but it's beyond the scope of this video, so let's concentrate on the window size. Let's open the settings.py file, here it is. We need to import the config class, so let me import the config class. This is for our configuration object, then we have to set the width and height of the window. To this end, we use the set method on the config object. config set. It takes three parameters. The configuration token that our option belongs to, which in our case is graphics. Now the option, which in our case will be width or height, and the value. This is the value that we want to set our option to. So we want to set width to 1200 and height to 675. Now I just chose this size here. 1200 by 675 because I think it looks fine. Fine, and now we can run the program to see how it looks. Good, now our window is the right size. It looks much better. Now, all we have to do is copy the configuration code to the other screens. They should be all 1200 by 675 pixels. So, we just have to take this code, copy it, to the race file, save, run, good, it's the right size, the bats file, Run, good, results.py, now this solution is temporary because later this configuration code will be only in one place, but for now let's just copy it to all these files, game over, run, good. I think that's it. And now in the following parts of this series, we'll be adding some KV properties to our project and there are going to be lots of them. Hey guys, my name is Kamel and I'm a Python programmer. And today I would like to talk about my book, Good Programming with Python and Kitty. Now in this book, we're creating a project from scratch. <laughs> oh, no, no. Now, here you can see some samples from the book.
Now, if you are interested in purchasing this book, you will find the links to it down in the description below. So, thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you will have at least as much fun reading my book as I had writing it. So, see you around! Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.